Hello people, it is that little Asian kid here and I got another video tutorial for you all about animations in Cinema 4D. This time we're going to be making Minecraft animations, right? And we're going to start with landscapes. So basically, how to make a Minecraft landscape. Most people make a cube, like this, a cube. It's what Minecraft is built from. And then, make another cube. And drag it, what? And they'll drag it like that. And they'll set the whole thing up. It'll take ages to make a big one, make a big like landscape, right? So I have a much easier method for all of you people that want to know how to do it. We start by creating a plane, and we'll zoom out quite a bit. And I normally change it to five thousand by five thousand, right? And then, th and then. Because that number is 5000, you can have it any number you want. This number has to be that number divided by 100, so it'd be 50. So if that number was 1000, this number would be te uh, 10. Yep, so we're just going to do it's 50 50. That's just the average size I like to use. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to first create some hills, like there's hills in Minecraft and stuff. So, how we're going to do that is we are going to either click this button or press C to make this plane editable. I usually press C because it's keyboard shortcut is so much easier. See, now it's editable. Now we're going to go on our live selection and we're going to change the radius to 10. I mean 20, sorry. And that just makes, let us select more at a time. See, now if it was 10, this white circle would be smaller. Yeah, and you just click that button. Yeah, this white circle would be smaller. Okay? And that's just all the radius thing done. Okay, now you select where you want your hills to be. So I want all this back wall to be a hill. All that corner, all this bit, all around there, and then if you want to add some more, you hold shift and add some more there and there. And if you want to rub a bit out, you hold control and rub out what you want. And I'll just rub out that tiny bit just to show you. Now, once you've got your basic um, base for your hills, you right click, click extrude. Okay, and you change that to 100 centimeters, and that goes up one. Can you see one block? Then what you're gonna do is press U. Sorry, uh, it doesn't matter where your mouse is. I'm just putting it here because it's easier. Uh, U, and that gives you all these options. And then you're gonna press K for shrink selection. And then you're gonna click on the 100 again and press Enter. And you're gonna press U K. Click on the 100. Enter. U K. Click on the 100. Enter. U K. Click on 100. Enter. UK, click on 100, enter. You're just going to keep doing this till all the yellow orangey bits go away. Okay, um, almost done it. There we go, and we're done. You see? There you go, a Minecraft landscape. I hope it works in all your animations. I'm joking. <laughs> no, we got a lot more to do. Okay. Now, um, that's that. That's uh, our basic base and stuff done. Now you need to double click here to create a new material and you need to get the Minecraft textures. You can just search it in Google or find it in your Minecraft.jar folder. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so you double click there to get a new material or you can click file new material. And you double click your material. And you click texture, you do load image and it would come and you wait. Find where it's saved and here's my dirt top. So we're gonna start with the top bit. And just do yes, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to change the MIP to none because that makes it blurry on the edges if you leave it on. We're going to untick specular because that gives it a glow. And we all know Minecraft grass doesn't have a glow. And if you don't know that, then <laughs> I don't know why you're watching this. But you can, I'll allow you. There we go. An exact replica of Minecraft. Ah, uh, not yet. Right, so can you see it just covers the whole thing in that texture, and that's not what, what we wanted to do. So we change this to cubic, and we change this to two by two. There we go. And there it is, a Minecraft landscape. Right, so some might consider that a Minecraft landscape, but um, I'm a pro Minecrafter. I don't consider that a Minecraft landscape. Are you dumb, lad? So, because the sides of these bits have dirt. So, what we're going to do is we are going to double click here 
create a new material which is uh, uh, and you're just gonna do load image once again side uh, just do yes that doesn't matter you do uh, none then you take off specular and then you can just close that right now because we only want the sides to change what we do is we click this um, we do U and yeah you press U and L and now that gives you loop selection see so to, so to select more than one bit you hold down shift so you hold down shift and click that and you just click all the side bits and Gonna do the main inside bit, that bit, this bit, and this bit, this bit, and this bit, and this bit. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, no. see now, just to fix it, I just hold Control and click it. See? And now, you can hold Shift and just re-click the stem blocks, and you just hold Shift and do it. See? It doesn't matter if you make a mistake and Oh, I did it again. Huh. First time I did this, I made no mistakes, and now I'm making all the mistakes possible. Now this, so I just have to redo them because I created a gap. Oh my god, this is so. Maybe I should try zooming in a bit. Here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Here we go. Now we've selected all that, we just drag this onto any part of the yellow. And that, you'd still agree, doesn't look like a Minecraft landscape. If anything, it looks a bit like the wood texture. So once again, we need to change it to cubic, and change it to 2 by 2, and here you are. Now come on, admit it, that looks like Minecraft. If you play Minecraft, you'll know what it looks like, and that looks like it. And then we're just going to finish it off by adding a light. Yeah, um, I just you can do light or infinite light. I just do light mainly, and then oh, oh, one second, I'll click light, and then just click this to move it, and we will drag it up, zoom out, drag it up, and that way, and that way, and that way. And then we'll go down here a bit, and you're gonna go into the light and click shadow map, shadow, and you're gonna go to shadow map soft, and that will give you some really nice shadows on it. See, and then bits all shadowed because there's not much lag in the world. If we move this light here, you can see them pretty clearly. Now, if I zoom in and render that out, look, come on, that looks that Minecraft. Admit it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a like and a favorite or a flike. You could call it, I just made that up. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it from now on a flike. If you're going to give the like and a favorite, you're giving it a flike. And in the next video, I'll show you maybe how to make uh, like structures, which will just be copying cubes and stuff. And I'll show you some rigs to use a character. Thanks for watching and peace out, people.